we are to find the volume of the solid that is generated by rotating the region bounded by y equals 7x, y equals 7 sine x rather, y equals 7 cosine x, from 0 to pi over 4, and we are to rotate this about the line y equals minus 1. So we have the graph of y equals cosine x here, the blue one, or y equals 7 cosine x, y equals 7 sine x, the red line, the red graph, and then we have the line y equals minus 1 here in green, and we're going to take this region here that's bound by 0 to pi over 4, the red graph, the blue graph, and rotate it about the green line here, and we would wind up with then a rotated area or region that looks like this. And if we were to take a dx, a thickness, a delta x, and rotate it, then we would wind up with this washer that would have this thickness that we see here shaded. And so what we would have to do is find the outer area and subtract from that the inner area. Well, the outer area is going to be from the line y equals minus 1 up to the graph of y equals 7 cosine x. So we'll take 7 cosine x minus negative 1, square that, and multiply that by pi, and we have that outer area. We'll do the same thing with the inner area. That'll be the distance from the graph y equals 7 sine x to the line y equals minus 1. So we go 7 sine x minus negative 1, square that, that's the radius, multiply that by pi, and we get the area of the inner circle there. So we'll subtract outer minus inner, and we will have pi times 7 cosine x plus 1 squared minus pi times 7 sine x plus 1 squared. Factoring, or rather, uh, multiplying these out, we'll have pi times 49 cosine square x plus 14 cosine x plus 1 minus pi times 49 sine square x plus 14 sine x plus 1. Now we want to collect some of these terms and then even convert them a little bit if that's possible. And we'll notice that if we were to factor out this pi here, we could put it here. And then we go 49 cosine square x minus 49 sine square x. We could factor out the 49, but we would then wind up with cosine square x minus sine square x, which we know to be cosine 2x. We would also have 1 minus 1, so those go away. So we're left with the 14 cosine x minus the 14 sine x. So our integral will be pi times that integral from 0 to pi over 4, that expression that we just found, times dx, the thickness. And when we integrate that, of course, we're going to do a chain rule with 49 cosine 2x and wind up with 49 sine 2x over 2. And then the integral of cosine x is sine x. Integral of sine x is minus cosine x, but we have a minus out front, so we're going to have cosine x. So we just need to evaluate those things from 0 to pi over 4. So we have pi times then evaluating here by putting in pi over 4. Uh, 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. Uh, the sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2, and the cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. And then, of course, we subtract pi times these expressions, these terms evaluated at x equals 0, and we're going to have 0, 0, and 14 because the cosine of 0 is 1. And then we're just going to collect some terms. We've got pi, then times 49 halves minus 14, or 28 halves, plus, and here we're going to have 14 times the square root of 2, 
combine these two terms and we're left with pi times 21 halves plus 14 root 2.